Hey, what's up, folks? So, it's about 3.30 in the morning. Uh, yeah, that's what my hair looks like at this time. I don't care. Anyway, I'm up and had this um, random thought about hoodies. Um, I actually, not more random, I like just talked about it earlier today. But... I get a lot of different opinions about hoodies. I personally like hoodies. I think they're, I like them a lot. Um, pullovers, zip ups, the whole night. I wear them a lot and uh, I get a lot of opinions. A lot of them negative and I don't know why. So when I actually go to sleep and wake up in a couple hours, I am going to do a little research and see what the general consensus is. I don't know if I said that right. About hoodies. Like what's people's opinions and whatnot. Um, like I said, I have a lot of them. I like them. It's like the main thing I wear. So, anyway. Future me, take it over. Hey, good morning guys. So, I'm finally out of the bed. It's uh officially 1023 it's my day off so uh my hair looks like this because it's well it looks like this in the morning so um yeah so i hit you up last night because i have a thing that i want to talk about about hoodies um so that's going to be a little more of a formal conversation later uh, but besides that, I'm going to get myself washed up, cleaned up the whole nine yards because I need to get the hell up. I'm hungry. I'm pretty sure I got breakfast somewhere in there. Uh, and I want to go out and do something. You know, it's the day off. I want to take you guys with me to go do something, even though it's <laughs> it's bitter cold outside. Like, I'm not joking. Um, it's really fucking cold outside. So with that... I'm going to see you guys in a second. All right. Hey guys, I'm back. So, fully showered. Had some breakfast slash brunch. Uh, now I'm just kind of winding down a little bit, a little full. So, I'm going to go take a walk, bring you along with me. Uh, but something I want to do before I actually go out, I haven't done this in a while. It's uh, something called Bior Free Your Pores. Apparently, my pores are enslaved. So, I didn't know that. So, now it's time to free them. I've done it once before uh, with somebody else, and it was <laughs> it was really hard to get off my nose. Like it hurt like hell. So I'm gonna do it. Show you guys uh, the before, the during, the after. Um, basically, this is the before. So you're about to see me put it on in the next segment, and then after that, I'll show you taking it off and. You will get to see me grimace in pain, which I think you'll enjoy. And if you do, you're a weirdo. I'm kidding. You're not weird. You're just like me. That's probably not a good thing. <laughs> I'm back, and as you can see, it's on my face. Um, it's supposed to take 10 to 15 minutes to dry, and then it's supposed to be dry like like paper mache apparently and then once it's dry like paper mache I gotta peel off toward the center and yada 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 if you've done this before then no need for me to explain if you haven't done it before then you're about to see me do it myself go through a little bit of pain cry a little bit all that jazz uh so I will see you guys in a second um real quick though if anyone's wondering how I'm doing this like these vlogs or whatnot um my setup it's pretty simplistic. Um, I have a small little Joby uh, tripod, as it were, and a little attachment that holds the phone, which is really good. I'm all doing these from my uh, my phone. It's a Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus, and I have a uh, a really great uh, protector or phone cover on it. It's the uh, Urban Armor Gear. It's one of the best ones that they make, apparently. But I like it. It looks good, but it also protects the phone in case I drop the phone during this stuff. So I'll give you guys a quick look at what I'm doing here. If you can 
C. Here is the Joby. It's small, but it works. And then here's the phone. And this is the Under Armour, or not Under Armour, uh, Urban Armour Gear Protector. It's supposed to be like two times the military standard. So that's, I like it. And this is good for a, uh, a first time setup, I guess, you know. Me being an amateur, everything. I do my videos from here. I do my pictures from here. I even edit my film from here since I'm still learning the uh, program on my computer. So everything you see I do for my cell phone. So suffice it to say, I make sure my cell phone is charged at all times. I've become one of those guys that has to plug in his phone at all times. Unfortunate as it is, it's crucial for me so that I can keep delivering you the semi-funny, semi-boring, and completely amateur content that I'm giving you, all right? So once this is done, the next 10 to 15 minutes, I will be back. That was a horrible plan over Schwarzenegger. Yeah. <laughs> I'm back. And um, so I'm going to take this off. And this might hurt. It might not hurt. I don't really remember. So here goes. Oh, it's like paper mache. Uh, that's pulling everything. Ah, uh, that's the stuff. Oh. Do I look pretty now? Oh, wow. Damn. This pull, I don't know if you can see that. Put the camera on. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Well, it kind of blurred out a little bit, but you saw that. That's a... Ugh. My nose feels sticky and refreshing. So, huh. There you go. Um, that kind of hurt. I was a little... I was almost anticlimactic, but you know what? My nose feels good, so stop judging. So, here I am, and... If you were paying attention earlier, which you should have because I uploaded it, um, 3.30 in the morning this morning, I had a thought that ran through my mind. I was already up. And it was something I briefly discussed with someone earlier yesterday. And it was hoodies. If you don't know what a hoodie is, what are you doing? Look it up. Google it. Uh, basically, a hoodie is a piece of clothing that is a uh, tech mm, how do i put it hoodies come in different shapes forms fashions the whole nine yards the hoodies i'm talking about are a little more traditional in a sense for me where it's like a sweater with a hood on it you know a hood attached to it and i really like those i wear them all the time that's kind of my thing uh kind of like wearing this hat that i have on uh, that you guys basically almost see me in like all the time. It's called a Kangol. Uh, it's, some people call it a golfer hat. I actually really like it. It's not your traditional hat and it feels good. And, you know, it's easy to take on and off, on and off. And it just feels good. It's nice and light. Um, but I have, I think, about 14 hoodies. So real quick, let's take a quick count. Huh? And if you see that, yeah, those are all my hoodies. So here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fourteen hoodies. Fourteen. Some of you might think that's excessive. What the hell are you doing? You know what I say to you? Be quiet. I like hoodies. A lot of people collect a lot of different things. Apparently, I guess I collect hoodies. I like all kinds of hoodies. And I am broadening my horizons when it comes to hoodies in a sense of color. For example, uh, if you notice, I have some green, some blue, some red, purple hoodies. Um, actually, there's one that's missing. This is a hamper. It's my favorite hoodie. It's under armor. All black hoodie I got while I was in uh, deployed in Kuwait. So... Technically, I have 15 hoodies, um, but it's 
my favorite hoodie. Uh, I wear hoodies all the time. Uh, some people think, oh, that's inappropriate. You shouldn't wear hoodies all the time. Yada, yada, yada. I, it's none of your business. I like wearing hoodies. Uh, but here's where we round 360 all the way back to the, the kernel of the topic, whatever. It's basically, why do hoodies get a bad rep? Um, and what I mean by that is, so I had a brief discussion with someone several times. I've had this interaction with several people. Apparently, if I wear a hoodie, I look like some kind of thug and hey i would pull you over if i saw you wearing that hoodie or yada 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 or you know what you wearing a hoodie is inappropriate take it off one it's cold two i'm putting it over my head because i got big floppy ears and my ears are cold how's it inappropriate and how does me a six foot one 200 something pound nerd how do i look like a thug I don't understand, especially if I'm wearing this. It's, it's basically what people call a golf hat. I, really? It looks hood, it looks thug? Come on, how is that even a thing? Um, where does this perception come from in our society? That's, I guess, my question that I'm proposing to myself and to you guys is, where does that come from? You know, uh, hoodies are... It's a, it's a sense of fashion. It's a style. It's something that people wear. Now, I'm going to be really straightforward and honest with you guys. That was a light. Um, no. Before doing this discussion, making this video, I did not look up the origin of the hoodie. I did not look up where they came from. That probably would have been smart. Nah, I didn't do it. I don't care. What I'm saying is, where does this perception come from? Where does this opinion come from? come from i mean it's a piece of clothing and me personally i don't judge nor define someone by their clothing i mean the clothing says something about them yes of course it does let's be really honest uh in this day and age it truly does but with that being said i'm not going to judge someone based on the clothing i'm not going to say hey that guy over there is a thug. Let me uh, cross the street and get away from him. No, I don't care if... And? What does it mean? I mean, there are guys out there that wear these super tight, tight jeans. And then they have like, um, what's the word? Like holes in them and in the knees or in the side pocket, whatever. And I think to myself, okay, that's their fashion. That's what makes them feel good you know that's what makes them feel positive and powerful and and wonderful in the whole nine yards whatever you want to call it that's their piece of fashion that's their that's a piece of them who they are what perception what right do i have the perception that oh that guy he he must be special in the head or you know he doesn't know how to dress or something along the lines of assuming someone's sexual orientation because of how they dress. You dress how you want to dress, plain and simple. And maybe I'm just rambling on, probably, I don't know. Comment below, but again, going back to the topic is, where does this perception of hoodies come from? As you can see, I have a lot of them. I have 15, I like them. Some of them are really dark colors. I mean, one of them is black, I've had it for Whew, since 2008 when I was in Kuwait. I love it. It's like one of my favorite hoodies. Since Under Armour hoodie is one of my favorite ones. I mean, I wear it all the time. Sometimes I sleep in it. Um, I travel in it. I do all kinds. I mean, I love that hoodie. It's my favorite hoodie. And this winter, if winter actually gets here, because it was snowing yesterday and today it's like 10, 20 degrees outside and it's sunny so it's really it's uh the weather's lying to me um but no really wh where does this come from like i like hoodies they keep me warm they make me feel good i like putting a hood over my head i even have uh specific i guess stitchings and hoodies that i like so for example if the typical hoodie comes with the one stitch 
that goes over your head, right? I prefer the one that has the two stitches. So it covers your head a lot better than what a single stitch would. And that's just my personal preference. Now, with that said, would I, when I never wear a hoodie with one stitch? Yeah, I have one. I have one that's kind of one of my favorites. It's a, it's a gray one. It's by Massimo. And I've had it for years. Matter of fact, it's got a little hole in the back that I'm going to go take to alterations or whatever and get it stitched up because I want to see, save it. I want to keep it. It's one of my favorite ones. I wear it around the house when I don't feel like wearing a shirt or pants. Just underwear and a hoodie. So what? But wh where does all this come from? You know, and if you guys know, or if you have an opinion, please do me the kindness, do me the favor, comment below. What, what, what is it that you know that I don't know? You know, what is it that, what is your opinion, I guess? You know, do you think hoodies have a specific telltale of, oh, when someone wears a hoodie, they must be a thug or they must be gangster or, um, you know, this person's up to no good. Or is it that when someone wears a hoodie, it's because they like wearing a, they like wearing a hoodie, and it feels good, and that's their stilo, that's their style. Don't take away from someone's style. Don't judge someone because of their style. I'm not gonna judge you if you're sitting there wearing some tight jeans and a big shirt, or vice versa. I'm not gonna judge you if you walk around in a speedo. I might look twice, like what the hell are you doing? But I'm not gonna judge. It is what it is. You wear what you want to wear. I don't care. It's not my business. Is not, but again, zoop. That's 14 hoodies right there. The 15th one is in the hamper. I like hoodies. Comment below, let me know what you think about this whole thing. All right, I'm gonna see you guys in a quick second. Head to the shop at on Fort Carson because I want to go see if they have some stuff I want. I actually just want to go look for another hoodie and buy some joggers. I want a new pair of joggers. I just got into these and they're really nice. I like them, I enjoy them a lot. That's midnight drive. But anyway, I'm gonna see you guys there. As you can tell, I'm in the PX. Can't really film walking in, but I think you could probably film uh, walking inside or like inside around the PX. Um, really can't do that on a military post. You know, like I told you guys before, there's certain rules we gotta abide by and whatnot. So everyone's got that rule. Hey guys, so I think I found the hoodie that I want, although I just found some more over there that look good. I'll show you guys real quick. This one is a double XL. It's by uh, Academics. Uh, not many people wear that brand anymore. I like their stuff. I've always have. Um, I'm just for a selective about the stuff, but it's a zip up hoodie as you can see right here and It's got a hood in the back and it's not This is what I was talking about earlier. It's a single stitch. Um, the one that I was Prefer is like a double stitch that goes here and here all the way down um, But it looks really really nice. Here's another one that I really like it's a pullover It's got a zipper up here. I pretty much think that's just for show Another zipper right here, but it's really nice. And then right behind it, they got another one. This is all five by five. Okay, so here's a pair of joggers that I think I just might get. Um, they have regular pockets, but the cool thing I like is that it's Sherpa lined. And I know what that means because it has it oh, down here, which means it's fluffy. So this will be really warm, especially right now. And the cool thing is, wait for it. It's an XL, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, it's an XL. So that means it's it's my size. So I think I might get these because there's only one of them here. And they have some other ones over here that are a little lighter. Sherpa lined, obviously. Uh, let me see if it's... Yep, XL. So, oh shoot, another... Wow, they got one, two, three. They got three different ones. Damn. Do I want to buy all three? I don't know. They have another pair of joggers here, but these are expensive as I'll get out. They're by American Fighter. And they're nice. They got zip-up pockets on the side. Uh, 
Yeah, they look like good material, but they're like 58 bucks, and yeah, I'm not buying them. I decided not to get the the joggers or the hoodie or anything like that. Um, just seeing what they cost and seeing what I already have, just thinking about it, like, you know, I need to be more frugal. That's what I need to do. I need to, I need to save. So, because I got things I want to do. I want to take a road trip to California and drive up the coast and take some really nice footage and some pictures for myself, for you guys. I want to take you on the journey with me. I want to get a new camera uh, so that I can take better vlogs um, and better footage. I want to, I want to, most importantly, can't believe I didn't say this in the first place, is I want to be able to afford to take my road trip down to Texas and see my little girls, man. That's the part that's important. So, gotta be a lot more frugal than what I am being right now. Which, I'm being pretty frugal, but I can be more frugal. I can frugal better. Ha! Huh? Not really. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing. So right now, uh, I got myself a bite to eat, and I'm gonna go enjoy myself some dinner. I'm gonna see you guys after I'm done. I might just watch some uh, vlogs by uh, uh, Casey Neistat, or Neistat, I think that's how you pronounce his last name. Dude's like a damn genius when it comes to this kind of stuff. So, and my buddy uh, Chris Miller, uh, he put me on to him. So, Chris, shout out, thank you, I appreciate you. Thank you for the support, and uh, I'm going to see you guys in a minute, right? Hey guys, I'm back. So, I'm really full right now. <laughs> um, I ate half of my food, and I should have ate half of a half of a half, because practicing Porsche control, it feels like it makes my stomach smaller. But I do this thing what my mom told me not to do, which is I eat with my eyes. If you're Latino, you know what I'm talking about, and... If you're not Latino and you know what I'm talking about, then you know what I'm talking about. So with that, um, I'm going to sign off. I got to go to work tomorrow. It's going to be an easy day. And uh, I'm going to see you guys tomorrow, okay? So, sorry, I gotta, I've been having a hair in my eyeball. It won't go away. But anyway, this is me signing off the vlog saying, be good to other people. More importantly, be good to yourself. All right? Got it.